So we're here in Orlando, um, chill day. The event actually starts tomorrow, but gonna get some food, just got some coffee. Now I'm ready to get some grub and see what's going on on these Orlando streets. Here at the A-Love Hotel, I ain't gonna lie. This one, this ain't ready. Trash. Do better, A-Love. No, Stefan always the swag daddy. <laughs> so we're officially kicking off our trip to Orlando. Today is a chill day. The show doesn't start until tomorrow, so we're about to go get some food and just explore. Hit up some shops. But this hotel, y'all, nice sign, but it's trash. I said that. I said that too fast. What are you talking about? You make sure my chest don't get Okay, I'll make sure your chest don't get Oh, yeah, they match it. I tell him they match. He said we match. He said me and Venus match. He said why me and Venus stress alike. So why are you so long on I couldn't even shave my legs. Venus morning. Why are you changing my room? My I thing. Don't know. I don't and Rico, and Rico said his water was hot. hot. But y'all know I don't like the hot hot water, but no, it was water scalding for me. The water was cold. Mine too. Well watered. Oh, not mine. I jump in the tree. Not mine. No mine. <laughs> Do the same thing as you ain't gonna be able to uh, reach us because you bring your US phone. They say no. And ain't nobody know the number. And we had I was like, like yeah, Venus, yeah. but I, Venus, I have no doubt. I know you're not a chicken with your head cut off. Like, <laughs> thing with like I'm, I'm sure you know. Okay, I dropped it. You'll find a way. So we decided to go to an old favorite, an old faithful Cheesecake Factory. Y'all already know Cheesecake Factory is consistently good, but I don't really go here that often. But people who visit, they like Cheesecake Factory. There's something there for everybody. One of the things I used to hate the most about Cheesecake Factory is how big their menu was. It was just too much things to choose from, man. But this was Saturday, so we decided to try the brunch menu. We had MJ with us, always sneaking them into restaurants. But one thing I know about America, guys, people love animals more than they love humans. I mean, that's just a fact. We took some time, it was a really nice afternoon. We sat outside um, and trying to decide what to eat. I didn't want anything too heavy. The good thing about dining in groups is that everyone's gonna order different things and you can like try stuff, right? So Stefan started it off with the steak and shrimp Diane with mashed potatoes. It looked really good. I didn't try it, but they said it was good. KK, she's a rice lover, so she got fried rice. I just wanted something light, so I just went with a soup and salad. Venus had a carb salad with shrimp. Um, and Rico just had some pot stickers. You know, this is a great way to start the day, get to try some different things before we hit the mall. So y'all, let me show y'all these two girls right here. <laughs> Look at like they blow. We've been in one shop. <laughs> we hit up, what? you know, five and below to see what little knickknacks we could find. Um, and then of course, you got to check out the regulars, right? TJ Maxx, Marshalls, before you head down to the Premier Outlets. If you're ever in Orlando, you got to check out the Premier Outlets. They've got every brand uh, from like Gucci, Fendi, all the way down to the basics like Nike, Polo, Tommy Hilfiger. The, the thing around that thing. No, no, so I'm here, right, with my rich friends. Yeah. Look at them. They have no bags right now. I promise you, two and a half hours. Watch, they're going to be fully loaded. We go. You shopping or no? Nope. Bogey, you shopping or no? Just hanging. Ain't at me. It can be between Venus and Bogart. <laughs> Who have the most bikes? Then KK is going to be right after. No, I'm not. <laughs> me and Rico are going to be swinging our hands. Because we're fiscally responsible. So y'all already know how it is. Once you start walking through the mall, through the outlets, you're hungry. So we stopped in the food court while the shoppers were shopping. You know, MJ needed some water. As you can see, he was dehydrated. So I wasn't shopping. 
you know, I was just strolling. I was just being moral support for the crew. You know, I was babysitting MJ. MJ was enjoying just taking in the sights and all of the people. And I mean, if a hundred people didn't stop to MJ to say he's so cute and ask if they could touch him, one didn't, <laughs> right? So, you know, I had a smoothie at the food court. It was amazing. KK had a salad, I mean, to die for. Um, and then we passed the Starbucks later on. So we had to stop and get a Frappuccino. It's only right that I get my matcha frappuccino so after that we went back to the hotel and then I was still in the process of editing last week's vlog so I had to like just leave the room and come downstairs so I could do some work they had a really cool little lounge area that had a bar um, there was no one down there, so it was like perfect for me to be able to sit, edit, focus, um, and not have any distractions so I can get the vlog edited and out on time. Funny story. So it was this guy, he kept singing in the lounge, and then he stopped to me. Money along. What's you happening were made right now, guys? For me. What you doing with that? <laughs> I love it. Listen, she killed that shit, right? Like. Okay. New lyrics or something? And I don't wanna be <laughs> Look at me trying to act like I was interested. I was just like, do you not see I'm busy over here? Got it. <laughs> but it was a really cool, you know, vibe. Um, I could tell that it has maximum potential, but this particular hotel, man, they just got to get it right. Uh, the water was cold. One of the days we had to change rooms. I mean, it has potential. Look at this little ba bar area, but of course no one was down there. I don't know. I've stayed at a lot hotels in New York, in Maryland, and they were really nice. So this one in Orlando was a disappointment. What's up y'all? So this is day one of the premiere hair show out here in Orlando. Um, pretty cool as you can see from the videos in this vlog as you can see there's a ton of vendors a ton of uh, people in the beauty industry I mean nail techs lash techs makeup artists hairstylists barbers everything you could think of man it's, it's, it just shows that every industry there's thousands and thousands of professionals um, and you got to always be investing in yourself and you always got to be willing to show up to get the education to find out what the new vendors are what the new products are and that's how you gotta treat every industry, not just the beauty industry, because I'm not in beauty, my friends are, but I like coming to these type of events because it allows you to just learn and grow and see what's new. And one of the things that I learned really early on in entrepreneurship is you gotta identify where the masses are going and you gotta get there first. That's how you really create wealth. So coming to events like this, so what I'd encourage everyone watching this to do is whatever your field is, whatever your occupation is, find some type of trade show. Uh, go to some continuing education classes, find ways to be able to network and learn more about your space so you can be the best at it. That's how you really separate yourself from good to great. So now I got a little faint line. I, I knocked it down one, and then I'm going to knock it down again. And some barbers, like I've seen on YouTube, people teaching that they'll close it, they'll open it, do the whole thing, then do it halfway through the middle, and then close it and take it off. That's a good step too, but... I just like to be, you know, efficient and I go down and I use all five steps and it also stretches out your blend and makes sure it's just like a smooth, really smooth blend. Well, I had to get back to Fort Lauderdale, so I went on the Bright Line by myself. Um, I couldn't make it to the next day of the show, but the crew stayed, but I just headed back down south because I had things to do Monday morning. I had to be back to work, to be honest, um, so I had to leave. The Bright Line headed back, man, it was a great ride, but... We stopped like five times because they had like two or three accidents on the tracks that kept us stopping around Fort Pierce and then around West Palm Beach. Um, but eventually we got home safe and sound. So, you know, I won't complain. I'm grateful. I would definitely do Bright Line again to go to Orlando. Save myself the drive. So now on this particular day, KK came back. Um, she was staying because we're traveling again on the weekend. So I was just making some of my famous bowls. She's never had them, so she thinks they taste bad. So I had to just show her Chef Soph in action. So I'm making some salmon bowls. Just the mess of my shirt. We're also having Cooper's Hawk. This is one of my favorites from them. Blanc, de Blanc. 
one of my favorite uh, champagnes from them, or white wine. I have a membership with Cooper's Hawk. I get a, um, three bottles every month from Cooper's Hawk, and then I can go and get like free wine tasting. Pretty cool, if you like wine, check it out. And let me show you all something else. So I didn't have like a real corkscrew, and I was trying everything to get this out of here. Never bought a corkscrew. Try do it the ghetto way with a knife, all kind of stuff. As you can see, I broke it up. But then I invested in one of these. Electric wine opener. I wish I didn't open it already. But it's literally a couple seconds, five seconds down. Cork is gonna be removed. Up, it's out. So if you're interested in one of these, hit my DM or leave a comment. I actually have these for sale for the low low. So get with me, elevate your wine life. The electric bottle openers are a game changer. So I have them for sale. So check the description below this video and show your girl some support and buy one. They're only like 20 bucks. So, so now I'm just doing some salmon bowls that the rice go in. Gonna sear the salmon with some, some rice, salad, salmon, my special vinaigrette. I had to just, you know, make the bowl. It's, you know, cilantro, lamb, rice, some corn, um, mixed greens, and then salmon on top with some vinaigrette. I mean, this is a great quick meal that you can make like through the week and take for lunch. Bowls are my go-to. I usually do like chicken and rice, salmon and rice, shrimp and rice. A lot of times I do quinoa instead of rice or just greens, right? Just salads. I just had to show KK that your girl can chef it up when I feel like it. I just prefer to order out. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm being fiscally responsible, so I'm trying to save money. So I'm doing a lot more things at home because, you know, I've got some major financial goals that I'm trying to hit by the end of the year. So I got to make some sacrifices. And a lot of money, guys, is spent on alcohol and spent on food. The food tastes better when you cook it at home anyway. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you all so much for rocking with me thus far. And do me a favor, in the comments below this video, drop one of your go-to meals. What's like a 10 minute meal that you can make on days when you're feeling lazy, but you want something good to eat? Let's talk, let's discuss. Um, and you guys, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. I'm gonna be putting a whole lot more content on other platforms, but don't forget to be back here next week. Same time, same channel.